it's me, Mario. Hello. Hello, everyone. This is Nice Guy, and welcome to the bonus episode series for my playthrough of Super Mario 64. The purpose of these bonus episodes is to go over gameplay elements that I missed in my original playthrough, some gameplay differences, unlockables after meeting some post-game criteria, or showcasing pre-100%. As well as miscellaneous backtracking for niche, tedious stuff, and performing glitches that I personally have fun or notes on. I will reference videos that other people have made when when I feel like it, that I think do a great job com covering things that I am ca incapable of or don't feel like doing. The bonus series as a whole won't encompass every piece of trivia or showcase the game has, especially the background development and cultural references. Like I said in a previous episode, I'm very, very uncultured. I am just one lazy person, I'm gonna make mistakes and cover what I want. Now, with those disclaimers out of the way, the first piece of trivia I wanted to go over, if you go into the main file select screen when you restart your game, go into the scores section. You can select each file and see the scores you got for the 100 coin, well, your progress in the game as a whole, but also the 100 coin mission and secret stars. Oh, wait, I forgot to press... It was, I'm pretty sure it's the A button. If you press the A button, you can see which file select has the highest score. We only have one save file, so it's gonna be A. There's a little Mario icon. I think it looks so cute. Oh, and I didn't read this anywhere else, but the high score thingy is misspelled. It's supposed to be H-I-G-H -H score. This typo is also present when you complete a mission in a course and you hop out of the painting and it and you get a new high score that's the first thing let's go into our save file what was I gonna show off first the very first thing I didn't show what the gate looked like that I covered the vanish cap the gates here until you drain the moat like we did in one of the episode and there's a current here that pushes Mario away slowly Excuse me, right there. And that's what the edge of the lake looks like when it's still flooded. The second thing was the text dialogue for all the big star doors. The first one, it takes the power of eight stars to open this door. You need eight more stars. The second one, uh, the Bowser in the fire sea down here near the basement. Oh wait, I need to <coughs> use a game shark code. Oh, wrong one, whoops. It takes the power of 30 stars to open this door. You need 30 more stars. The one on the second floor, it takes the power of 50 stars to open this door. You need 50 more stars. Well, not <laughs> however many stars that you're missing. Obviously we have zero because I'm using the game shark. The last door, the big star door on the third floor. With the one where you need to get to Bowser in the sky for the final fight. It has a special special gimmick to it. To open the door that leads to the endless stairs, you need 70 stars. Bwahaha. In the final episode, you saw me just go up the stairs without any issue. But if you do not meet the 70 star requirement, it plays a musical 
is not optical illusion. Whatever the sound equivalent of optical is illusion. For me, I don't hear the illusion, I hear the the musical notes resetting every time. The endless stairs, Bowser paintings on the left side, Peach on the right. Now let me show you. I always wanted to um look back as a kid in the remake to see what it looks like going up the stairs. That's what it looks like. And to exit the stairs when you do not meet the 70 star requirements, it'll tell you again to open the door that leads to the endless stairs you need 70 stars. Wahaha. I forgot to show off the Womp section in this part in the Bowser of the Sky course because I failed the Red Coin mission and I forgot to edit it in. If you, go, if you keep going past the, the Ferris wheel, I call it the Ferris wheel. If you stay in here, the Womp will trap you. He can see you through. And you'll have to wait for, him, for it, for them, excuse me, <laughs> to get back up. You can get some extra coins, or you can just ground pound them. There's no reward for getting extra coins. There's a flamethrower on the edge of this, and that annoying Chakya right here. It's very hard to maneuver around it. Hang on. I'm trying to show you where he throws you off. Oh. Well, in my, in my failed attempts, that Chakya threw me onto the beginning arrow section. Like three out of three times. Oh, and there's a death animation for when you die in Bowser in the sky. And additionally, here's the death animation for dying at the final boss. There's a convenient one up right behind here, so you won't get a game over. Oh, and when you traverse through Bowser in the sky, if you count it, there will be. Seven Goombas, but there's actually an eighth. The eighth Goomba spawn point is off the edge of one of the platforms. I forget which one. So it appears at the very bottom of the level for one frame, and then it disappears. So it's impossible to get that Goomba's coin. And admittedly, you might have seen the cutoff of the coins. No, not a cutoff. A transition from before I enter the pipe. So when I enter the battle, my coin count returned to zero. That's because I died. But not just died, it's, I spent 20 minutes trying to defeat Bowser. A lot of deaths were to trying to do live bios, live commentate the bios as I was fighting. And a lot of them were also being double burned. Low enough to kill. But it's okay because I made a dialogue slip up on my very first attempt anyways. That star you get at the very end of the fight, it's not actually a power star, it's, it gives you your wing cap so you can play the end credits. It's called the Jumbo Star. Let's go over the final two original bios. First off, Mario, the hero of the Mushroom Kingdom and the game's protagonist. He was invited to the Mushroom Castle by Princess Peach, only to find that she has been kidnapped by Bowser. Mario has significantly expanded options to reflect the 3D environment of Super Mario 64. Some notable moves include the triple jump, the wall kick, hang on, let me go wall kick on something. The the pound to the ground attack, we all know it as a ground pound. And a punch punch kick, which you just press the punch punch three times consecutively. Mario has a health meter and does not shrink in size if struck by an enemy. And for the final original bio, Princess Peach. She only appears after the Bowser in the Sky battle right here in the front of the castle in a cutscene that plays right before the credits. Princess Peach, the ruler of the Mushroom Kingdom. She invited Mario to the Mushroom Castle for cake, but she is missing by the time he arrives. 
So it informs them that she was kidnapped by Bowser and sealed away within the castle walls. The game follows Mario's quest to restore the castle's power source and liberate the princess. I didn't give Bowser a formal bio because he doesn't have a Super Mario 64 specific bio. It literally just says Bowser appears in the courses and you need to swing him around by the tail at the bombs on the outside of the arena. Yeah, that's, that's Bowser's. He doesn't get a formal bio. At least the website didn't give him one. <laughs> the next thing I'm showing off is the game over screen. I'd never gone close to zero lives because I was using save state. Save states, every time you restart the game, you will be reset to four lives. Once you hit your zero, zero life, I don't know how to say that. And then you die, you get the game over screen. Game over. Game over. Oh, I just wanted to check. The game over screen, right after it plays, it's the same thing as when you boot up the game, like that. Oh, let's see how the title screen plays out. I never got to watch it. The whole thing. Okay, I thought I was going to stay asleep forever, but it resets his title screen animation. I want to show off the cute little voice clips they gave Mario and the animation for when you leave him idle anywhere for too long. So starting from not pressing anything. And now we wait. Alright, sorry Mario, we have to awaken you back up from your slumber because the next thing I want to show off is the teleporters in the courses that I did not show off. Somehow didn't go over the the ones in Bob and Battlefield, neither of them, there's two of them. Some teleporters are two way, some of them are one way, but both the ones in Bob and Battlefield are two ways. The second one, the most popular one, is the shortcut you take to the top. Now, don't take this shortcut. It's considered cheating by Koopa the Quick, but I'll show that off right after the teleporters. The second one, next to the Thwomp in Thwomp's Fortress, go to the corner where the sign and the metal cap are. Super quick and easy way to get to the boss battle or on top of the fortress for those missions. There's one in Shifting Sandland. It's gonna be next to the box of the wing cap. Oh no. <laughs> 
and it's a two way from the little tropical tree in the pond next to Klepto. He's taunting us, but we can still somehow get our wing cap. Let's see if we can get, let's see if we can shoot him down. <laughs> And I have to lead my shot? No. That's gonna be annoying. <laughs> um, my wing cap skills are not rusty. They're non-existent. I always forget there's one in Snowman's Land because it's the least useful. Over the little bridge you long jump or hop across with a gust of wind. Oh, I never show this, but there's an amp and a fly guy down here. And a block of ice. Yeah, but is this tree right here? Not, th not that one. Wait. I lied. It, it was this tree. The tree at the very corner of the map. At the end of the hill. hill. It takes you to this frozen pond. It skips a decent chunk, but like I said, it's the least useful one in the game, in my opinion. I always forget this one exists. Oh, there's a glitch. I want to try it out. It's super easy. It shaves a little bit of time in speedruns. Just hop up past the ceiling and you'll ledge grab onto the stairs. It's a fun little trick. It's not useful for casual play. The next teleporter is in wet dry world. The water has to be all the way down, which I forgot to I forgot to lower the not lower the water. I forgot to hop into the painting at the lowest level. But we didn't have to swim much. Go to where... Where the other prism for the second... For the second level of water. It's in this corner. Ouch. It'll teleport you right to the cannon. Probably should have used that one honestly. Oh, and let's do something fun. Let's... Let me see if I can... Sorry, I had a cough. Let's see what happens if we teleport to the teleporter while underwater. No, we have to be standing on it. Okay, can we teleport into the water? Oh, it turns out you can't have Lakitu's camera fixed. You just need to go to that setting and press R. Alright, what happens? Oh. <laughs> We'll just be immediately put in the swim animation, but we can't teleport back. Oh, let's use a cannon to get into that cylinder. I've never done that. I want to. I want to do it now. We already got the one of us, but are we supposed to use this cannon? The second to last one in Tiny Huge is in Tiny Huge Island that I forgot to show off. It can only be done 
when Mario's big on the small island. this little coin when you find the five secrets of the tiny island you won't just get stuck on there yeah oh yeah we can't teleport to there we have to use the switch so this is a one way otherwise yeah no I failed. Otherwise, we can't long jump back and we'll just die. This is the entrance to the big house in the sky. I mis mistakenly said that you needed to die if you ever lose your carpet and it despawns. No, <laughs> um... There's a, no, there's a teleporter here. Sorry, I got distracted because I didn't know this railing was here so you can get up to the big house in the sky and also use a teleporter. It's right here, yeah, at the edge. Aligned with the rainbow path, you get spawned up here and there's a one-up mushroom right here. And an annoying gust of wind that really does not want you to be up here. Alternatively, you can use this falling platform to get down. Oh, there's a what up? I didn't know that. Oh, I almost forgot to show the way back. The wind will push you for a little bit, but you'll stand still and then get teleported back. Next up on the list, I want to show off the text dialogues for when you lose to Koopa the Quick. So let's let him win this one and I'll meet you at the top. Oh he also takes this slope of the iron balls and then he jumps over the iron balls if it, they're in his way. Never got to show that off. Alright, you win Koopa the Quick. Out of showcasing, I win, you lose. Ha <laughs> ha, wow, what a freaking jerk! Have you ever heard of good sportsmanship? That's what you get for messing with Cooper the Quick. Better luck next time. Wow, I didn't know he was a D bag. Yeah, you can't rematch him, you have to exit the level and then re enter the mission if he beats you. That is not all of his text dialogue. Koopa the Quick does have a special reaction if you complete the foot race but use the cannons. Yeah, I'll talk to him once again but this time use a cannon to get to the flagpole. For some reason using the teleporters in the flower and the and the iron balls is fair game to him but not the cannons. There he is. What do you have to say for us now? Hey, don't try to scam me. You gotta run the whole course. Later, look me up when you want to race for real. <laughs> yeah, he'll, he'll acknowledge that you cheated only when you use the cannons, not the teleporters, and then he won't give you the star. And you'll have to exit the course and re-enter. 
and now for the tiny huge island. Let's see his text dialogue for when he beats you. Alright, you beat us. I win, you lose. Ha ha. That's what you get for messing with Koopa the Quick. Better luck next time. Oh, same as the same exact text dialogue as for when he beats you in Bob on Battlefield. Oh, and I probably should have shown this off when I was doing the first round of 100 coin mission. Each course's 100 coin star has a special name. It's not listed in game. It was on the trivia section of the guide I was using. I'll throw them all on screen now. That's gonna be it from me for this bonus episode. I will make one, maybe two more of these. But in the next one, I will be for sure showing you the differences between pre and post 120 stars. Thank you all for watching. In the next episode, I will be doing just that. So I'll see you all next time.